What's going on everybody? Jason here and today I've got the final piece to the puzzle. It's the 2022 Ford Maverick XL. If you guys are enjoying these types of videos, please be sure to smash that subscribe button as it does help out with the YouTube algorithm and it also helps support the channel. That being said, let's jump right into this Ford Maverick and see what it's all about. Starting off with the different trims that you can get with the Ford Maverick, you can get the XL, which of course you're looking at and is the base model, XLT or the Lariat. I've done a review on the the XLT and the Lariat. I will link the playlist up above so you can definitely go ahead and check that out and see the differences from the XL compared to the others. Now in terms of the standard safety features that you can get with the base model XL will be your pre-collision assist with automatic emergency braking. However, this particular truck does have the Ford Co-Pilot 360 package which is going to give you additional safety features such as your blind spot detection with cross traffic alert, lane departure warning with lane keep aid, lane keeping alert, and your driver alert alert system. Starting things off in the front of this Ford Maverick XL, you can see it obviously looks exactly like the XLT and the Lariat, just a few minor differences. Number one being on the XL, you're going to get the black mesh grille with the black surrounding because each of the trim levels do have their own unique grille setup. Also the grille bar that you see is in black compared to the XLT or the Lariat will be in a different color. And of course you have your Ford badge in the center there. As for these headlights, these are LED headlights. These are exactly like the XLT ones. However, the top section of your headlight is not going to be like the Lariat where that one has your LED signature accent lighting. Another thing on this Maverick XL is that you cannot get the FX4 off-road package that is only available on the XLT and the Lariat. So if you're looking to get that, you will have to choose from either the XLT or the Lariat version because typically at the bottom there on the corners where you see those little squares, if you end up getting the off-road package, that is where your tow hooks will go. Coming over to the side of the Ford Maverick XL. Again, it's obviously exactly like the other trim levels, just a few minor differences compared to the rest of them. You've still got your black door handles, you've still got your badging, and of course this one says XL on both sides. As for your side mirrors, they're just your standard black side mirrors, so no body color or any of that sort of course. Also, as for these wheels, you're going to get standard 17 inch steel wheels painted in this silver finish. You do have one other option that you can choose from, but these will be standard. And I think some people will actually enjoy having these and having that rugged look and feel of the truck. Coming over to the rear of the Maverick XL, over on the bottom of course it's pretty standard compared to the other ones but this particular one does have the upgraded 4k tow package. Now keep in mind if you do plan on getting the 4k tow package you cannot get it with the 2.5 liter hybrid engine. It's only the 2 liter one and by getting the 4k tow package you're obviously going to get your hitch. You're also going to get a transmission oil cooler, higher capacity radiator, up upgraded cooling fan, upgraded drive ratio, and a trailer brake controller. And then of course, you've got your wiring plugs and all of that next to your hitch. As for your taillights, pretty standard taillights of course, just like I've shown you on the other trim levels, but they definitely look nice with this truck being in white. As for the tailgate, it's a pretty standard tailgate across all trim levels. You've obviously got your all-wheel drive badging down there. You've got the Maverick written right into the tailgate, and then of course, your Ford badging along with a backup camera right underneath. Opening up the tailgate, as you can see, there is no spray and bed liner in this particular truck. However, of course, you can still get it. And I think it's a must have in any truck. But compared to the other trim levels that I've shown you, it's pretty standard. There's no adjustable tie downs or any of that sort, but you can still get those options if you like. And as for your tie downs, you're going to have six tie downs compared to the other trim levels that I've shown you, like on the XLT or the Lariat, you're going to have available 10. And also, you're not going to get LED bed lighting, but you can still get it as an upgraded option. Now, typically, Typically, where you would find your LED bed lighting. Also, you're not going to get the plugs back here like I've shown you on the XLT or the Lariat. So there's a lot of stuff missing in the XL and of course it's a base model, but if you're looking to get those small little things, you may just have to go up to an XLT. Now, of course, like I mentioned in my XLT and Lariat video, the Ford Mavericks only have a bed size of about four and a half feet. So it's not really that much compared to a normal pickup truck. But again, this truck is not meant for your typical pickup truck drivers. An extra option that this particular Maverick has is your tonal cover, 
which is perfect for those winter months. And also typically on the back, you will not get any rear sliding window. However, you can get it as an upgraded option, but this particular one, it's like the XLT. It's the manual rear sliding window. We're on the Lariat, it's a power. Entering into the rear of the Maverick XL, you can see the door trim is exactly like the XLT pretty much, just a few little differences. You've still got your blue shades on across the whole door, and then you've got your storage at the bottom of course, where you can pretty much fit any size water bottle. And of course, you can't forget about this unique door handle situation going on, which I'm kind of getting used to at this point. And as you can see around the door handle and even the armrest, the interior on this is black. As for the rear seats, this whole interior is only available in cloth, but I do like the interior on this one compared to the XLT because this one is your black onyx with medium dark slate. So you've got the black interior, of course, and then the bits and pieces in this darker gray finish, which looks really nice. And of course, you can't forget about the massive storage unit right underneath your rear seats. You've got two massive buckets to fit pretty much anything that you want to if your bed is full or if you just want to keep them inside here. So there's a ton of room to put anything that you really need to in this truck. Also the rear speaker, since there's no speaker on the actual door trim area, in the rear it's going to be located up on the corners by your headrest. As for behind the driver and passenger seats, again it's fully fully cloth and you do have a map pocket just on the passenger side just for that additional extra storage and on the rear console you only have one thing which is just your 12 volt adapter so it's a pretty clean and minimalistic setup back here i wish they still added a usb port maybe one or two on even the xls but that's pretty much what you get back here and as we make our way into the front of the maverick xl again you can see the door trim is exactly like the rear of course you just have a little bit more room at the bottom for your storage and then of course a speaker system right there now you get the standard six speakers in this and you still got the same door handle handrest area and your typical window controls your power side mirrors now one thing that i did notice i saw a video where i believe it was in the states where they had an xl but it didn't have power side mirrors let me know in the comments below if that's the case for the maverick xls in the states as for the front seats of course they're exactly like the rear fully cloth seats in the black and dark gray trim even though this is base model xl and you have cloth seats in this they're still relatively comfortable to be honest also on the XLs, both your front seats are manual adjustable, which I wish that they gave the option at least to have the driver's side a power seat, which would make things a little bit more easier and convenient. Underneath, nothing too fancy, just of course your foot pedals. And then on the left side, you do have your hood latch release there. Above that, like I mentioned, because this has the 4K tow package, you will also get your trailer brake controller right there. And above that, you have your lighting controls and dimmers. And then of course, your rear exterior lighting at the top as well as for your steering wheel this is a manual adjustable steering wheel as you make your way into the maverick xl you've got a relatively clean looking dashboard with two sections of course to kind of break it apart and then of course your speakers in the both corners moving over to the center gauge cluster it's a pretty standard one across all of the trim levels and then you do have a screen in the middle which you can kind of flick through have different things and different information about the vehicle in front of you which does make it a little bit more convenient rather than having to look on your touchscreen. As for the steering wheel, just your typical steering wheel, vinyl steering wheel, and you do have a little bit of a trim piece at the bottom. As for what's on the left side of the steering wheel, you've got your Bluetooth controls and then your volume controls as well. As for on the right side of the steering wheel, you do have controls for your center gauge cluster to move things around, menus and all of that. Behind the steering wheel on the left side, you've got your typical controls for your indicators, high beams, and then you can turn off your blind spot monitoring as well if you like. As for behind the steering wheel on the right side you've got your typical windshield wiper controls and your fluid now i did mention this in the xlt video on why they have the key ignition it's 2021 and i think they should already have the push button start even standard on any trim level as for your center handrest it is covered in vinyl of course and once you go ahead and open that up you do have a decent amount of room to put small little items and stuff but regardless you have a ton of room throughout this whole truck to make up for it in front of your handrest you do have a little cubby storage to put small little items and same thing right above that and then you move over to your controls you have four different controls here you've got your different modes you've got traction control your brake hold button and then your auto stop start button as well above that of course you've got your electronic parking brake and then your rotary shifter as well along with the two cup holders for the front people moving above all of that you do have some storage space here for a phone and some extra stuff if you like now i like that they did all of this in black because if you've seen my xlt video it was kind of a unique color 
not my favorite i would rather have this one right here and above that you do have two usb ports of course and next to that you do have a 12 volt adapter further up you've got your typical heating and cooling temperature controls of course and up above that you've got your typical radio controls then you've got this nice looking 8 inch touchscreen of course now on here like i've mentioned on the xlt and the lariat videos this is a pretty simple setup and a very user-friendly system as well there's not a whole lot going on but of course you've got your home page where you can have two different things here you've got your audio section next to that you've got your phone pairing settings and moving over to applications here you can go through a few little things uh within the truck of course and lastly you've got your settings where you can fine-tune small little things the brightness and all of that good stuff and that's pretty much it for this 8 inch screen next to that you do have additional storage space very small but you still have it there and like i mentioned in my xlt and the lariat video i wish that they just got rid of that little small section next to the screen and made the screen even bigger or just done something different but it just gives you that extra storage space from what you already have above that just your typical rear view mirror not a dimmable one just the regular and further up a very simple setup you've just got this drop down for a little storage for your sunglasses or whatever and then just your dome lighting and that's pretty much it coming over to the passenger side in your glove department you've got actually a decent size glove department storage area which you can hold a you know few little goodies if you don't want to use your other massive storage areas in this truck another thing that i do like on these mavericks is the area that you have on the passenger side above your glove department you've got this unique setup that goes across the whole center dash of course and it just looks really nice when it comes to what powers this maverick xl it is your two liter eco boost engine and of course like i mentioned this is an all-wheel drive system which is going to be giving you 250 horsepower along with 277 foot pound of torque and also because this truck has the optional 4k trailer tow package you're going to be able to tow about 4,000 pounds with this as for the key on the xl it's a typical maverick key you got your unlock lock button panic button and then of course on the back you've got your ford logo and here is the window sticker for the 2022 maverick xl at the top you can see just the typical engine exterior interior colors of course and then underneath that you've got your standard equipment for the exterior interior your functional safety and all of that below that you've got your optional equipment like i mentioned this has your optional tonal cover and your 4k tow package along with your manual rear sliding window and the ford co-pilot 360 system so it pretty much has all of the packages that come with the xl and a few extra options and then you've got your total pricing at the bottom now this is in canadian dollars and also minus any dealer discounts or manufacturing discounts that are being offered well that does it for this 2022 ford maverick xl let me know in the comments down below do you love this or do you hate it